Hello everyone, this is Brad here, and today we're we'll playing Out of Ammo by Rocketworks. It's a really good example of how real-time strategy games can work in a virtual reality setting. And I'm only going to be playing this tutorial during this video, and I'm not going to provide any commentary so you can all get an idea of what the game is like. Then furthermore, in later videos, I'll have a commentary for those. But I hope you enjoy the game. You're going to be commanding the defense of this area. This briefing will teach you about basic tactics and commands. Good luck. A successful defense begins with sound placement of your soldiers. Orders can be issued on structures, such as sandbag walls or towers, or directly onto terrain. Structures can offer much better vision, as well as defense against enemy fire. Utilize them whenever possible. Let's try building a defensive structure. By now, your helicopter has dropped off supplies that your engineers can use to build defenses. Move your right hand to touch the sandbag crate, then press and hold the trigger button. Great! Now drag the structure to the designated location on the open side of your base. Try to orient it so your units have the most cover. The orange ring indicates the standard engagement range of that emplacement. Engineers will automatically complete build orders. Pending orders will be shown in yellow. Watch your engineer next. Let's try assigning a rifleman. Touch the sandbag with your right hand. When it highlights, hold on the trigger to display the order menu. Here you can see the soldier types as well as how many of each are awaiting orders. Release the trigger on the rifleman wedge to issue the occupy order. Excellent. The order has been issued and the soldier will now head to that position. There are times when you will need to control your units more directly. To do this, you can possess your soldiers temporarily, and doing so will shift you to the unit's point of view. Try this now by touching the unit, bringing up the selection wheel, and choosing the Possess option. Good. From this viewpoint, you can engage threats on the ground directly. Let's try some target practice. Ahead of you are three targets. Try to shoot all of them. Good work. Now expend the rest of the ammunition in your magazine and we'll discuss reloading. To reload, use the trigger on your left hand to grip the magazine in the weapon, pull it out, and dispose of it. Next, move your left hand near your body and squeeze the trigger to retrieve a new magazine. Simply slot it into the weapon and you're good to go. While possessing units, you may only fire a certain amount of rounds before possession is cancelled. The remaining amount is displayed on the watch on your left wrist. You can also cancel this mode by squeezing the grip button on the left controller. Expend the remaining ammunition or squeeze the grip now. If you have expended all ammunition, that unit will be placed on a 30 second cooldown before you can possess them again. If you cancel possession, the unit will keep the same ammo count for 30 seconds, after which they will be resupplied automatically. To unassign units, open the selection menu on a manned emplacement and choose the unassign option. Let's try that now. Interact with the rifleman's sandbag wall and unassign him. The rifleman will return to the headquarters and await further assignments. The icon above his head indicates that he is idle, but he will still fight enemies that enter his engagement range. Soldiers can be assigned to terrain in the same way they're assigned to emplacements. This can be useful if you have a gap in your defensive structures or to use landscape to your advantage. Let's get that sandbag reoccupied. Issue an order for a rifleman to move to the sandbag and then we'll move on to using other structures. Sandbags offer some defense, but don't have any range or visibility benefit. Towers offer great visibility and some defense. 
which make them ideal for snipers. We're sending you supplies to construct a tower as well as a sniper unit now. Placement for the tower is the same as the sandbags. Touch the tower with your right hand and use the trigger to drag it into your desired location to issue the construction order. Note the orange ring indicates the default range of the tower. Your engineer will now automatically unpack and construct the tower. Let's get a sniper in that tower. Bring up the assignment menu on the tower and issue an order for a sniper to occupy it. Great. With a sniper on Overwatch, you'll be able to engage enemies more effectively at range. Enemies will attack in waves. Throughout the mission, you will receive extra supplies and soldiers via the helicopter. Keep an eye on your idle soldiers to make sure they're being deployed to best defend the area. We're sending you some more supplies and units now. When they arrive, place all of the structures and assign all idle units to occupy your defenses. It looks like you're ready to defend. Your medic and engineer will act on their own. The engineer will repair damaged structures and the medic will heal and revive your friendly units. playing by killing enemies, completing waves, and over time. You may also assist enemy casualties for points by telling your medics to do so. Command points can be redeemed at the HQ in order to use special abilities. Touch the HQ building with your right hand and pull the trigger to bring up the command menu now. Current command points are displayed at the top of the menu. Cost and cooldown will be displayed in the individual wedges. Also note that useful information about your base can be found to the left. Select the artillery option and call in a strike now. Enemies are on the approach. Use the artillery to stop them before they can attack. Excellent. The enemy threat has been eliminated. Additionally, when you aren't possessing a unit, your watch will display information such as number of enemies killed, your current wave, and time played. To cycle modes, simply tap the watch with the finger on your right hand. This concludes your basic training. With these skills, I expect you'll be able to handle the challenges to come.